Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. Finally, it's out. I'm super excited. Cannot wait to play this game. Right now, we're just at the screen where it shows all the settings. This is all the settings that I put on. I will most likely have to redo the audio. It might be a little too high. So we'll do that once we're able to. So without further ado, let's start the game. It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Thank you. 
Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern! That was a pretty epic start. Let's go into options. We can come over to sound. Uh, we'll do master volume. We're going to put that up to 100. We're going to take music down to, I think we'll do 40. And then voiceover volume, we'll keep that up to 100. Effects volume, we'll bring that down to 40. If that's too low, I'll turn it up a little bit. Um, if it's too high, we'll uh, turn it down a little more. But for now, I think that should be good. We'll do our first save. Yep, we just opened up the main menu. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Damn it. Time to move. The visuals look absolutely gorgeous. We're just in time. This is going. They won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? To the gates! Quickly! Move! What do you mean, you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. <sighs> and you have His Majesty's answer. I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. 
And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? <sighs> the capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. Kupka! The Iron Blood will rue the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. You cock. <laughs> Benedicta. <sighs> <laughs> take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Okay, cool. I like that. You can just run towards an object or a platform and climb up it. You don't have to press a button. And quick and deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> Titan. So the Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on.
don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Oh man, things are going crazy. Shiva and Titan. She's right on top of us. Doesn't look like you can actually run. Anytime, Wyvern. It just auto runs itself. You're just gonna stand there. told you before, you do not get to die here. If you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. Two arms, then. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Okay, so we can chain melee attacks. This is, I'm guessing, the combat tutorial. Can we lock on? Uh, doesn't seem like it. But maybe we can. Once more, please. L1 to lock on. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. And some fire skills. Keep them coming. Well done. 
You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Vade is R1. Hmm. That's going to take some getting used to. Don't simply watch my movements. Read them. Nice. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Well, I'm waiting. Okay, so circle's going to be... Okay, that'll be interesting to use. I'll have to get used to that. Circle, for me, is usually a dodge button. Good. Fly at your foe before he can raise his guard. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. You can have potions on the D-pad up and right. You can switch your shortcuts. Okay. That'll have to be for now. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. I wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Have at me, boy. Make proof of your strength. This guy has some pretty cheesy lines but that's with every final fantasy there's always going to be some cheesiness to it i don't mind it go on you're sure to beat him this time you can do it clive just stay calm <gasps> oh. Oh. Mm. Ah. 
taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. By the way, I am playing on action mode and not story, so it will be a little more difficult or um, action focused. Maybe not difficult, but action focused. Staggering enemy. Oh, cool. I keep wanting to hit R1 to do damage. Well, it's time I took my own advice and used all the tools at my disposal. Not quite. Go on, Clive. Keep pressing. Just a little more. We believe in you. You're a damnably quick learner, Lord Rosfield. That's a pretty easy fight, but I mean, it is training. He won! See? I told you he could do it! Aye. Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Joshua, I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. <sighs> Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. But it's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them.
Rise, my friends. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust? Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spar. Is that so? <laughs> Quiet, Togo. Stop it, boy. Not now. He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. <laughs> Shields dismissed! you're going, hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Oh, cool. So if we... Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. If we're ever lost, we can always see where we need to go. So his father seems pretty cool. Torgal seems like a handful. And his mom seems like hot All garbage. Refugees arrived today. Let's be honest there. Make sure you get a good edge on that, eh? I am going to be taking this game really slow. Nothing down there but rats and rogues, my lord. Ah, oh, they've closed the gates. Let's hope the side entrance is still open. And I know that I have not been commentating we must be ready to watch. quite a bit, but mainly because it's been a lot of cutscenes. All right. Oh, cool! Items we just gotta walk near. The Phoenix will be Seems like we collect them automatically. That's nice, convenient. Mm -hmm. Good as new. Uh, uh, uh. Forgive me, Lord Marquess. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 uh. I say to speak. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. Uh, 
As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. I think after we explore here and before we head through that door, we're going to end the video. See what this guy's got to say. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. Wheat harvests down again, apparently. If this war ends up dragging on, we'll starve. Best well, fill our bellies while we can, then, eh? We'll be having a feast for the two of you. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? So, looks like they got a bunch of slave labor. Not really the coolest. But I think right here is a good spot to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the first video of my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.